number two, and they've got it here with a first down. And now for the offense, this is play number 11 here on this drive. scrimmage back at the six it's a loss of two there bringing up second down well it's been the air game that's taken them down on this drive before they finally turned around and handed it off on the last play and now they're looking for the big boys to get them in the end zone couldn't do it there it'll be interesting to see offensive lines had to pass block a lot on this drive will they be able to revert and fire out and create some space in the run game They snap it at one. Now Ryan. This is caught. It's Sanu this time for a Falcon touchdown. Mohamed Sanu from six yards away. And the Falcons take it all the way down the field and score on the opening drive. And his kick is good. Here's Bosher to kick it away. This is fielded a couple yards deep. And he will be brought down here at about the 17-yard line. It's the first carry for the former Georgia Bulldog, Gurley. And not a whole lot to speak of there as they'll bring him down shy of the 20. Two yards on the carry there. It'll be second down. Boy, Charles, Todd Gurley finished the year with a bang. And even though they lost the Falcons, he was over 100 yards in that game. Weeks 15 and 16, he was fantastic. A comeback year for him, wasn't it? It certainly was because we saw him explode on the scene as a rookie in 2015. 2016 just never could really get started. We didn't see the big runs. Heck, we didn't see a 100-yard game out of it. So when you look at this season, brand new offense, new way of doing things, but the biggest thing, offensive line, Andrew Whitworth at left tackle, Roger Saffold be able to settle in at guard his best position, and John Sullivan, the new center. That gave him a line to work with, and boy, did he take advantage of it. Well over 1,300 yards rushing, caught the ball well out of the backfield. A definite candidate for MVP in 2017, and I would say in just about any season he plays going forward. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. 12 more yards there and another first down. Gurley again here on first down. Good cover defensively as they get to him just beyond the 45 after the broken tackle. Three yards on the pickup there, and it'll be second down. Partner, we know today's NFL is really built around the guy throwing the football. But these short runs, they still pay dividends because they can take their toll on a defense, and they can add up as the game goes along. You control the clock, you control the ball, and that way you often control the game. Now it's gone. Steps away to his left. And he fumbled it. It's on the ground. And the Falcons grab it. And now look at him go. And he will score. Touchdown, Falcons. Huge, huge play by the defense. Not only to force the fumble, obviously, but to return it for a touchdown. And I know it's no fun for anyone who plays offense, but isn't it fun to see how a defense rallies when there's a fumble return and everyone tries to find someone to block and bring it all the way home? I always like their celebrations because they don't get there that often. No, they're not choreographed very well, usually. <laughs> And you can bet they're preaching two hands on the ball here as the kicks away following that fumble return. Fielded about a yard deep. And not a bad return here. He gets it out to the 25-yard line. 
The Rams offense now making their way out to take over. Already down two touchdowns here in the first half. This becomes a pretty important drive, doesn't it? It certainly does. And a lot of teams script plays. We know that, right? They, they have a script to start the ball game. And typically those scripts go between 12 and 24, 25 plays. Down two touchdowns early. Probably not very deep into their script. I think that they'll stay with it. I don't think they'll abandon it just yet and try and generate some offense on this drive. Anything, at least three points get that zero off the board. Two minutes remain here in the first half. We're back to Atlanta right after this timeout. Here's Goff now on second down. Airing it out deep for Woods. And the hit jarred it loose. It's incomplete. So he can't hang on. And as I watch that unfold, I remembered an expression that I've heard, maybe from you, I don't know. But you're going to get hit anyways. Might as well hold on to the ball. Well, you know a coach <laughs> said that, right? Yeah. Not an actual player. Not a no chance at all. Way easier said than done. And the Falcons going to use another timeout. So that means they're down to one remaining here as we head toward halftime. Third and long. It's gone. And this is going to be incomplete. When you see passes knocked down by those guys I call the frustrated fullbacks, the linebackers, you know that in their zone coverage, they were able to drop, see the ball thrown, and react to it very quickly. So on fourth down, here's Johnny Hecker to punt it away. Back deep, Taylor Gabriel. He gets us away. It's a good one. Drawing toward the sidelines. And this punt goes out of bounds, and it'll be marked inside the 40. Now the Falcons offense gets ready to head back onto the field. They had to go a long way on their last drive to score the touchdown. This time, they get at least a little bit more of a cushion with field position. I have to think that with this field position, after what they did on the last drive, they might want to take a shot right now and try and cut down the length of the drive. First down, Ryan. The left side completion to Jones. And he's going to be out of bounds down near the 35-yard line. A really good pickup of 28 yards. So the offense has it first and 10. left it's Freeman and he's going to fight his way forward here for a modest gain five yards on the carry good pickup on first down partner I think from our experience together we have learned that most offensive coordinators are going to tell you if I'm going to run the football on first down I've got to get at least four yards they got five here they've got to feel pretty good about that one looking to throw on second down Ryan and incomplete there. A nice hit. Jars the ball free and brings up third down. That would have been a great catch, but it's real difficult to hold on to it because it was contested all the way. Would have been a great play if he'd been able to haul that one in. Ryan. A bullet throw, but incomplete. I'm not sure we could spot any tendency here on this third down. They could have run it or passed it. Either one was available. They chose to try and get it through the air, but they run successful. And this one is right down Broadway. But hang on, a flag is down. Now, if it's on the defense, they might decline it and take the points. So that one will be accepted. The 
The Falcons averaged 34 points a game last year. Tops in the NFL with that powerful offense. And they're already looking for more here as they've got it first and 10. After the penalty, here's Freeman. And he is into the end zone for a Falcon touchdown. Devontae Freeman. 